So this is just a quick video and this one's for Tudor. So if your name is not Tudor, um, you're not going to find this very interesting. In fact, if your name is Tudor, he's still probably going to turn you into a vegetable, but what the hell. Um, so this one is about Google Tag Manager and passing uh, variables through the data layer in Shopify into GTM. So the first thing we need to do is uh, go into our uh, theme and we have somewhere my brain is gone. Oh, it's a snippet. That's where my brain is gone. Uh, snippet, which is a GTM Google Tag snippet. Now we've changed this snippet slightly. So this is what we had previously. I've included a whole new piece of code above here. At the moment, it's only working on products, and there's a reason for that. Um, in fact, I'll tell you now. The reason I haven't put it on to add to cart is because I need to figure out the trigger event. Um, and the reason is most add to carts are counted on hits to the add to cart page. Um, so if I add one product to cart and then I add another product to cart and then I add another product to cart, it counts as three hits to the uh, add to cart page, but it's not. It's one customer, three products. Um, and if I fire the data over, it'll send product one, then it'll send product one and two, then it'll send product one, two, and three. So product one is counted three times, product two is counted twice, product three is counted once. So I need to figure out the trigger event to send the products individually when the guy clicks on add to cart. So that's why I've not done that. Uh, so this is the code for the data layer. Um, and this is just in our GTM snippet here. So we're declaring the Windows data layer. Data layer, we're giving it a variable name. I've called it GTM products ID. Uh, and I've given it the Shopify liquid. Of Shop I've included in here as well Shopify underscore, which is what's needed for the catalog. Shopify underscore and the liquid product ID. Uh, we can go ahead and we can test that because if I go and open up Google Chrome, uh, which gives us some nice developer tools. Go to Katie's Boutique. Uh, probably gather I'm doing this real quick because I'm watching TV over here. Uh, let's go and find a product. Let's go and find a bra. There's, so I'm on a product page now. And I go to uh, more tools, developer tools. So uh, what have we here? So on my product page now, you can see the data layer is now firing, um, and it's set to GTM product ID, and it's filled in here, Shopify underscore, and the ID of the product. So I can tell that this this code is firing properly. It's also bounded by if product URL contains product, so it only fires on the product page. So that is now passing that information over to the data layer. If I go over into Google Tag Manager, we go into variables and we have to create a variable for it to pass. So you give it a user defined variable. My variable is called GTM underscore PID. It's a data layer variable and the data layer variable name is GTM underscore product underscore ID. So going back to our theme here, the variable name is GTM underscore product underscore ID and that's what it passes. So back in Tag Manager, that's the data layer variable, and this is the, the variable name in Tag Manager. Uh, so if we go to our tags, and we go to Facebook product, we've now got the uh, additional code. So we've got Facebook track view content, which we had previously, content IDs, uh, and then the, the two squirrely brackets indicate that it's a variable and to, to fill the variable na uh, variable value in as opposed to the variable name. So GTM underscore PID, which is my Google Tag product variable that's been passed through the data layer. Content type um, is hard-coded to product. Bingo. So when the, uh, when the thing triggers, um, if it's a product page, it calls the data layer, passes the liquid code of product ID into GTM product ID. In Tag Manager, in the data layer, there's a variable declared called GTM PID. Whoops, that's new, I don't want to do that. Um, so that's the data layer variable name, and that has to match what's in Shopify. And then name the data layer variable within Google Tag Manager, GTM PID. Um, and there's your tag firing on product for uh, GTM PID.
bingo, job done. So all I need to do now is to figure out how to fire it individually on Add to Cart. So every time you click on Add to Cart and add a product to it, it will trigger that product once as opposed to triggering it you know, three or four times um, as you add more stuff to cart. That's all I need to do. That's probably a few hours work tomorrow. We're done. So uh, there you go.